Hey YouTube, it's Tony with LME Holsters. Guys, I wanted to do a review on this uh, flat iron gizmo that I was sent. And uh, I know some of you guys have been asking, you don't want to mess with the heat gun because it might distort um, some of your crisp lines on some of your vacuum forming. This is supposed to eliminate all of that. So, um, it's got, tells you it's on, it's got a temperature, and all you do is just set your piece on it, whether it's if you're doing the wallets or if you're doing a shell, uh, if you're doing a mag carrier. So you really don't have to worry about burning or scorching any of the definition and you, you kind of start to, I can tell you can kind of get a smell for one. And it's big enough that I think you could actually put another wallet, you know, if you're doing multiple wallets or holsters or things like that. And I think I've got it up at the highest temperature. I just turned it on and I think it said 16. But I'm, I'm watching the Kydex and I'm watching it. And I don't think you need to flip it over the other side. I think one side, which is going to be the bottom side, is, is all you need. Yeah, I can start to... Uh... This is going to actually protect... You know, this is almost a perfect size for that right there. And, and it's, not, it's not going to be as fast as a heat gun, but you're not going to lose... Or have a tendency to, to like I said, lose any definition because you've... Uh, What I do on the wallets is I'll always pinch this end and then if you have a wet rag or compressed air you can just hit that to cool it. Isn't that cool? And I know uh, I think one of my subscribers Pete was uh, asking about something like this and uh, wow I think it's uh, this one's for that's actually a Glock 43 And again, you can just hold it because this one's going to have retention bushings on it. So you can just hold it, cool off your spine if you need to. Again, like I said, with compressed air. That's what it looks like. Not too shabby at all. Professional looking wiring. Uh, there's no sharp points. Looks like it's on Velcro so you can remove it. I might end up painting the bottom of this or staining it. It's kind of a nice piece of wood. But there you go guys. That's how it works. And if you're gonna like I said, if you're gonna do something like this, you know, you can actually probably put two on there. Um, then fold it over. But there you go, no heat gun. You didn't lose any definition. You didn't screw something up because uh, you failed to protect something. So there's your option uh, besides the strip heater definitely did not cost as much as a strip heater so for you guys that uh, want to explore how to do this uh, there you go anyway guys that's all I got good luck with your projects don't burn yourself peace